sér krummi ef þestjel Ett neg binda gokken vel Flöj úr fjalla gjóðu Flöj úr fjalla gjóðu All right. All right. So as you can see, I've um, progressed a little on the on the neck and the breast, actually quite a bit. Um, you can see that it's overall not as saturated as the face. Mm -hmm. um, also because of the the red tones uh, in, the, in the cheeks, mm -hmm. that makes quite a strong impact here. But I quite like the difference because that definitely pulls uh, the focus point up here. Um, nevertheless, I will, um, while doing the uh, softening out, I will also get a little bit of the uh, yellow in this area here, a little bit of that rucksack tan that we used also on the forehead, um, just to bring them a little bit close together. Mm -hmm. um, and we will also paint the highlight on the ears, they're just quite dark at the moment. Okay. And uh, I mean, you uh, said you progressed already quite a bit. Um, basically, you did the same thing as on the face, right? Yes, definitely. Just, uh, um, nothing to miss. Uh, I just started with a quite a fair amount of uh, tank brown in here, mm -hmm. tank brown and black, um, the same color that I used for the lower side of the chin. Yeah. And I uh, just built up the uh, transition towards the highlights with a wet and wet. Yeah, actually, it's 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 an uh, interesting part because um, usually you say okay when you're doing a female face you shouldn't do a lot of contrast, yeah. which you didn't in the face, but you put it under the chin. Yes. Yeah. So um, th this actually makes quite a big impact um, on the kind of plasticity of the th on the three D feel of this of this miniature as well. Yeah, that's true. I think it's important to not put any harsh shadows here, but to really separate the the face from from the rest of the body is mm -hmm. quite important. Alright, we uh, start with the highlights on the ears. Mm -hmm. You can see I remixed the, uh, rearranged the palette and remixed the base colors here. Um, because today is a new day. Because today is a new day. <laughs> um, I'll also add a bit of red in there. To have a little bit more of a of a red impact in the in the ears to make them, uh, yeah, they they ears just tend to look a little bit redder. Um, I think because you can see the light scatters through the um, thin tissue of the ear. Mm. Yeah, and, and the the arteries, not not the arteries, what's the veins or whatever it's called. Um, the blood vessels, I guess, um, are very close to the skin. And the skin is not as thick as in other parts of the body. Just, just a few highlights here and there. It's already a completely different appearance. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that scalp. She even has beautiful ears. I mean, <laughs> yeah, a very lifelike. Yeah. We're we'll probably listening to every word we say. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit more pink. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, beauty. Nice. Right. 
And now, fun and the um, uh, fun stage, and it's kind of easy also to to ruin things. Um, don't, don't try this at home. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> <laughs> or try this at home. <laughs> try this at home, <laughs> but don't blame you. If it <laughs> but don't blame me. Yeah. <laughs> so um, I, I'm mixing a very diluted version of the highlight tone with a little bit of the rustic tan to give it a little bit more yellow impact. And we glaze over the surface here mm -hmm. to bring it up a little bit. It's pretty thin, isn't it? Yeah. So it's a, a, true, a true glaze, if you want. And clean the brush. And feather it out. I think this kind of cleaning the brush and feathering out is something that um, if you practice that a little bit, it's going to go a long way. And with the same tone, just to make sure it's we have this the same tone on both parts, just glaze a little bit over here, not over. Uh, don't overpaint the, the strong highlight here, just uh, color it slightly. Um, we do that not just to to bring the yellow in there, but this um, step will also help us to soft out the whole miniature and the whole, the whole skin. Um, also because it will um, bring together the different glossinesses of the, the color mm -hmm. a little bit, because you have that thin layer of pigments that overlap actually most of the surface. still have a little light spot. Uh, I will cover that with a dark color mix. Just add a little bit of black. It's okay to have that shadow here in the in the very recess, but uh, we have to make sure it's not too broad. So you're going back in with the lighter color now, or yeah, uh, light light, but it's still a shadow color. Mm -hmm. It's also with a little bit more yellow impact and having the uh, rather cold color in the middle of the throat here. Mm -hmm. uh, it's actually quite a nice effect. Yeah. I will uh, still want to bring up the highlights here on the, on the breasts a little. Um, we will do that in the same way as we did the thin glaze before, uh, just with more white in the mix. Maybe also a little stronger. But yeah, you can see on the finger now, it's very diluted. Place it and clean the brush.
on the other side. And please notice the the way I move the brush. Try to uh, do a circular motion mm -hmm. to have a nice shape of light on the breast. Basically following the shape, yeah. not just going horizontal. <coughs> I'm just trying to add a little bit of a reflection here. Turn the brush and feather it a little to the side. Oh, yeah, quite nice. Yeah, for me, I think at that stage the uh, I would call the the skin done. Mm -hmm. um, it might need uh, slight adjustments once the hairs uh, are painted because um, sometimes the contrast is not uh, just right when when mm. you, you have the strong contrast with the with the black and white. Mm. It looks quite different. So, uh, but for now. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the, the skin so far. I did. <laughs> awesome. So the uh, hair is going to be next? Hair is going to be next. Great. Fly your fiat like you, 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 fly your fiat like you,